Good morning everyone. It is about 11am now, so it is a little bit later than we starting it today. The weather outside is awful, I will just show you. Look how bad it is, it's so rainy and not nice at all. I was going to film a main channel video today, I think I still will, but it's not going to stop raining until like 2pm, so I'm like, well, I don't really know. The problem is, I really like to film outside because the lighting is so nice. I don't have any studio lights. When I film inside, I feel like the quality is really bad. I don't really know what to film. <laughs> Especially now I'm doing my daily vlogs. I'm like, well, it's taking quite a long time to film everything. But I'm going to try and make an effort. So when it dries up, I will try and film. If I don't have any ideas, I'm just going to move it forward to tomorrow. But we're going to Ikea tomorrow, I think. So I don't know. I'm going to have to try and find the time to film. Otherwise, everyone's going to be like, oh, why are you not uploading on your main channel? So I am going to try, and I will make an effort to film for today, and if not, then I will move it forward a day. So obviously, the rabbits and the guinea pigs are shut inside, as it's really, really rainy and not nice for them, which is a shame, as I've just made the guinea pigs run smaller, and then I've just sort of shut them in now for the last couple of days, because... It's been so horrible and it's a shame because I've just put all the fresh bedding down but hopefully it's going to dry up soon and the weather will be a lot better. I'm going to do my hair in two Dutch braids today. It's really annoying me down and I can't be bothered to straighten it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do like two of the Dutch braids. So I'll take my water. I really like to spray my hair with water before styling it. It just makes it so much easier to work with, I find. And I'll push it through. Then split it into two equal sections. And start from here. I'll take a piece about so big. Then split it into three. Snuggled up in a little nest. Pingu's just waking up. Oh, what are you doing, Pingu? I'm going to build this IKEA lap table. We haven't just been to IKEA, but I found it and we are not using it. I can hear a meowing, Jasper. Hello. He goes a bit crazy when it's windy. I don't know. You can tell he's a bit hyper. Jasper, where are you going? He's talking to me. Hello. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Hello. I would stroke you, but my hands are full. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm on the floor. He's such a lovely cat. Anyway, so he's desperate to get rid of the bunnies, but Piper is terrible. Bunnies are quite messy at the minute, basically. This blanket was on top of there, they pulled it off. It soaked up all the water in the water dish. <laughs> They've been digging up all the bedding. Yeah, this is the reality of bunnies, but I do love them lots and lots, so I don't mind. Where is Big Wig? 
He's in his nest down there, bless him. You okay? Jasper's going to up. Oh my god. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. He's after my gloves. Hey. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Give me your money. I'm just going to put the lap table together now. We also got some more decking pieces so we can make the stairs safe. It's kind of hard to explain but you will see once we put it together. So to make the stairs more safe what we've done is we've got some pieces of decking and we've attached them to the underneath of the staircase. This is so much safer than it was before and I'm really really happy with it now. So they cannot see through the gaps. It's loads better. Hello you two. You're both so lovely. Hey. Aren't you lovely bunnies? It's now so much more safe which I'm really really happy with as I was getting very worried after reading all of your comments about all of things that have happened and it just made me think and I know that a lot of you are more experienced than me with bunnies. Oh, I've just put the food up there to see if they will get up. Then my mum also put this together. This is essentially just pieces of decking. Then we've got a bit of wood here to support that up. So it's a good little hidey for them. But I'm hoping she'll be able to jump up. Well, I say she, Bigwig might now want to come up too. So I hope that they can get up like this. If not, I'll put a little, a little stool here and then they can jump up onto the stool then up onto here because I know it is a little bit of a big jump. So now you can see it's loads better for when they're going up and I'm just really, really happy with that. I've also put the lap table together but I need to put some non-slip stuff on top then I'll put some blankets on maybe because it is a very slippy surface so that, then I'll get that sorted. She's thinking about it. Oh, go on, you can do it. That's a good girl. That's so much better. That's actually loads better. I've also got a bench up here. Because I moved that from downstairs to fit the lap table in. Now she's going to demonstrate coming down the stairs, I think. Nah, she likes it too much. Hello, sweetie. Now she's going to demonstrate coming down the stairs. That's it. As you can see, she can get down a lot easier than she could before, which is really, really good. Piper likes a new platform. Big wigs underneath it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the hay rack now. We had to take it off to fit the decking pieces there. I may just swap it for a different hay rack, which doesn't need to be screwed in or anything. But I'm not too sure, so I'll go and have a look and see what I have. I've just attached this hanging toy, which I've made. So it's just some rope tied to this treat, which we got from this pet shop. I've also put some more eyelets up over there so I can hang more toys and things because they don't really have much to play with at the minute and they're not so keen on the toys which are just lying around on the floor they just don't bother with them so hopefully this will encourage them to maybe play a bit more So what I like to do every day is get one of the guinea pigs out and check them over, make sure they're all okay. On some days I have to do two guinea pigs as obviously there's only seven days in a week and I do have nine guinea pigs. But rather than doing them all at once, I prefer to just do one each day. Now I find this is so much better because I can spend a lot more time with one guinea pig rather than rushing to get through them all. So I've got the scales here. 
I just found Miffy's brush. Now that's been missing for ages. You probably saw the other vlog where I lost Miffy's hairdresser scissors and then they turned up in the straw for some reason. Well, this just turned up in here, so at least I found it now, that's good. So I've got Bram here. He is 1335 grams. So he is a healthy weight. He used to be a lot slimmer than this, but he's gained a lot of weight, which is really good because I was getting quite concerned. I'd rather he was a little bit on the bigger side. So now what I do is just feel him over and make sure that I cannot feel any lumps and bumps or anything. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, it's because I do have a bit of a cold, so I'm just being extra careful, really. I took the last week off checking all the guinea pigs just because I didn't want to pass anything on to them and I just wanted to be extra careful so now what I will do is check his eyes make sure they're all bright and clear which they appear to be then I look in his ears make sure they're all clear and looking healthy then I also like to check his nose make sure that it's not runny at all or anything and it looks completely fine then I will also check inside his mouth, make sure that his teeth are looking fine, which they do. So he looks really healthy. On some weeks I will trim the guinea pig's nails a little bit and just keep on top of things. So it seems to be working really well doing it like this as I can just spend a lot more time with each guinea pig, checking them over, making sure everything is completely fine with them. And then it just, as I said, it allows me to check them more thoroughly than I would do if I was weighing them all at the same time and checking them over on the same day. Multi absolutely loves to climb things like these logs. She just seems to always be jumping on things and climbing. It's really, really cute. 